As a hairdressing professional, I often get asked if you can train your hair, particularly your parting. Today I'm gonna to show you how you can move that parting around because as we know, for the past few years, a middle part has been all of the rage as told to us by Gen Z. As a millennial, I was like, okay, I'll move my parting over. But fashion, once again, is saying, you know what? We're gonna be inclusive to all partings. We like zigzag, side, and middle. So today I'm gonna to move my middle part over to the side and I'll show you how to do this for yourself at home. The first thing you need to establish is the growth of your hair. If I use my own hair for an example, my hair likes to grow this way. Meaning if I part my hair on this side, it's gonna lay nice and flat against my head. If I part it on the opposite side, if I don't use any extra tension, I'm naturally gonna get a lot of volume. So even when I wear my hair with a center part, on this side I have a little bit more natural volume than I do on this side. So that's a good place to begin. And now I'm going to introduce you to your favorite product for moving your part, water. So if you've already washed your hair and you're coming out of the shower, you can skip this part. But if you're like me and your hair is dry and you need to move your parting, we're gonna use a little bit of water in a spray bottle and I'm just gonna spray down the root area. And as I'm spraying down the root area, I have to rub the neighboring hair that's along the parting. I even have to kind of move that hair over and get a little bit more into the side. And for this example, I'm gonna move my parting onto this side because I want it to lay nice and flat. So a little bit of water, and then again, rubbing. If you just brush, it doesn't manipulate the hair at the root enough. So you really need to kind of get in there. And then once I've got that ready, nice and wet, it's good to go, I'm gonna go in with my comb. I'm gonna pull all that hair back and I'm gonna establish my parting. So I feel most comfortable with this comb here. It has a tooth missing at the top and this makes it really easy for me to make a part. So I'm gonna pull that hair back where I want my parting, kind of just over my arch of my eyebrow, and I'm going to diagonally move that back. And you can see it's still a little bit dry, so I'm just gonna add a little bit more water. So like I said, I like to use this comb here, but you may find it easier to use a wide tooth tail comb or even a pintail comb. So now that I've got my parting in the right place, I'm gonna grab my hair dryer. I'm gonna use my hair dryer with a concentrating nozzle because that's going to really direct the hair down. And because as I mentioned before, on this side, my hair naturally likes to jump. So I need to use a little bit more force or a little bit of pressure. So with the small teeth of my comb, I'm gonna hold that hair down as I blow dry right at the root. It's still warm and I need to check when it's still warm that as it cools, if it still feels like there might be moisture there. Because if I have any moisture in my hair, it's naturally gonna pop up and lift. Now it feels dry. So I'm gonna keep that in place by using my no mark clip as I go on to the other side. Going in with the small teeth of my comb, So it's dry along the top, but this middle part of my hair is still wet. So I'm gonna use my brush and I'm going to wrap that area in the middle dry. I'm also gonna separate it and lift and dry that space in between. Okay, so I'm using my hand and I'm seeing to make sure that I have no moisture left. And since it feels nice and dry to me, I'm now gonna place my non-marking clip on the opposite side so it'll hold my parting in place. So to troubleshoot a few things for people with coarse hair, meaning your hair is a little thicker. My hair is fine, it's very fragile, it's gonna listen to whatever I tell it to do. If your hair is more coarse, you're gonna need to use a little bit more water and you may find that you need to use a little bit more tension on your hair. My hair is also very malleable, it's soft. So I find that even when I'm moving my parting, I still may interrupt or bother the ends of my hair. So for that, I'm gonna go in with another tool. I'm gonna use my flat iron just to smooth the ends of my hair. 
going in with yet another sectioning clip. Just kind of this middle layer here, getting all of that out of the way so that I can just concentrate on the ends. And I like to use the wide tooth of my comb to help kind of direct the hair in the direction that I want, making everything nice and smooth. And I find usually one pass is just enough. You can just go in with your fingers and do it that way. Now that I've got the ends nice and smooth, I can take out my no mark clips. And if you take a good look, you may see that I still have some of these little baby hairs. My tip for this is to use my edge brush. And the edge brush has some nice tight boar bristles. And what I like to do is I take my favorite hairspray. This one has a beautiful lavender vanilla aroma. And I just spray it directly onto my brush. And then what's on my brush is I apply that directly to my hair. By doing it this way and not spraying it directly onto my hair, I don't get too much product. So I'm gonna do the same on the opposite side. And now that I've got those pieces smooth, there you go. You can see I've very easily moved my parting over. And now even if I want to, I can add my sweet little accessory because I find nothing shows off a parting better. And creating a brand new hairstyle is as easy as sometimes just moving your parting.